Hey guys, how are you doing? Um, today we're back with another student live interview. Hey, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Thank you so much for joining us today. Of um, course. Yeah. So I'm just to start this off. Um, I'm just going to ask you to go into your background a little bit, like where you're from, what school you play, school you play at, like what sport you play, all that. Okay. Um, well, my name is Allison Lankowitz. I go by Allie. I'm originally from South Bend, Indiana, which is right by Notre Dame. Um, and right now I play soccer currently at Lewis University and I'm a sophomore transfer from Indiana University Bloomington. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah so uh, how did you know that you wanted to be a college athlete? Um, well ever since I was little I had always been put into sports but soccer was just the one that always stuck with me. I was the best at it, um, interested me the most and a lot of coaches saw a lot of potential in me and they were telling me like you got to stick with it and my parents were super supportive um, my siblings I have two older sisters and they played soccer growing up so it was just watching them from the very start I knew that I wanted to stick with the sport and just being able to get an education while playing like a sport that you love is just such an amazing thing so I I kind of knew I, I really wanted to do it yeah and I know that like a lot like it's kind of hard to balance the two of those things yes. <laughs> but like it is really important to like mm -hmm. study what you love and do what you love while also playing a sport that you yes <laughs> um but yeah so how was your recruitment process um my recruitment process was honestly very weird my senior year of high school um I was reaching out to coaches and I was really in the middle of the whole thing and I broke my ankle um and the timing was just so unfortunate uh and I was told like my season would be iffy if I tried to play and like I might have constant pain. And so I, I actually did give up on soccer, but one coach, our head coach here at Lewis, he um, told me after I told him I wanted to just give up soccer to reach out to him if I ever changed my mind. And um, about halfway through my freshman year at IU, I realized what a big mistake I had made giving up. So I reached out to him and he welcomed me with open arms. And without even seeing me play for over a year, he was just totally all in. And he said, you're welcome here. So um, I joined the team and like, it was my recruitment process was insane, but th like, it was just him giving me the second chance that led me here. Yeah, that's incredible. Like, it's crazy how much like one connection can lead you so Definitely. many, like make it to where you want to be. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that, that's incredible. Um, was there anything weird about like your transfer process? Um, yeah, I mean, IU is a huge school. Um, so going from there to here at Lewis, it's quite a bit smaller. Um, but I knew it was the right fit, um, both academically and athletically. I just missed the sport so much. Um, definitely going from a, a non-student athlete to a student athlete was probably the biggest adjustment as a transfer. I really had to learn how to juggle my time and be disciplined. Um, but honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade it for anything. I like being busy here and I like having to juggle that and like figure out my day. And, um, it's just, it's just a better fit for me, honestly. Yeah. It makes you have to be like a lot more organized and honestly, yes. <laughs> that kind of like set schedule for your mm -hmm. day. Like, I don't know. It's like feeling organized, like makes just, you feel like a whole lot more productive. Like, you know what mm -hmm. you're going to do for your day. But yeah, I'm sure that that was like a huge transition for you, like Definitely. going from being a regular college student, which is already a ton of work, to like yeah. adding all the time and practices on top of that and travel time with games. Mm -hmm. Like I know how much of a um, challenge that can be to balance all that. So I'm sure that that's yeah. just me. Um, so what were you looking for in a college specifically, either athletically or academically? Yeah, um, well, I knew I wanted to stay um, somewhat close to home. I'm very close with my family and my older sisters. Um, I felt pretty far from them at IU Bloomington since it was about five, six hours away from my house. I couldn't see them quite as often. So I knew I definitely wanted that home aspect. Um, I wasn't at first really caring a lot about faith, um, but I realized how much I missed out on that at IU Bloomington because it's not a religious school. But here at Lewis, I'm able to practice my faith while, while attending here. It's a Catholic university. So that was definitely a big thing for me. Um, I honestly like the size of Lewis. It's a lot smaller, so I'm able to kind of focus more and get more attention from my professors when I need help, which is just honestly everything, especially with COVID. It's a lot more difficult in school. So having that ability to just be able to have my question like all answered is a really big factor too. Yeah, I know that the size of the school can be pretty, is like really important, especially with that student-teacher ratio. Like yeah. my school was huge and now I'm going <laughs> 
table that's like like half like like more than like less than half the size of it and it's yeah like, that like it's really crazy how much like that like the size of the school plays into all that and yeah faith is really important so mm -hmm. I'm really glad that you're able to practice that um so uh I know you kind of like talked a little bit about like what you were looking for what made you what made you set like what was the ceiling like what, what sealed the deal for you at Lewis um honestly it was just the, our coach our head coach giving me this second chance after not seeing me play for over a year um I just the fact that he was willing to do that showed how much faith that he had in me and how just amazing of a school that this is to be able to offer people like me like an education while being able to like play the sport that they love because I honestly feel like no other school would have would have given me that like they probably would have looked at me and said you know this girl hasn't played in over a year like why is she trying to get back into this sport but Lewis was just so welcoming um the professors here were welcoming right off the bat and like my my teammates like had reached out to me before I even um committed uh they were texting me like hey I heard you're thinking about coming here and so the fact that they cared enough to like reach out honestly sealed the deal because they didn't have to do any of that yeah yeah no that's like that's going like out of their way to like mm -hmm. be kind to you yeah that, that has like a huge impact like yeah, it really shows that they care, which is super important. Yeah. Um, what is one? Of, what is one of the most challenging parts about being a student athlete? Then you talked about like balancing the schedule, but is there anything yeah. outside of that that's challenging? Um, I mean, just a lot of it. I used to hang out with a lot of friends at IU and have a lot of downtime, but now it's you know you really got to stay focused and grind as a student athlete. Like people say that, but like it's the truth. Like you are so busy. You know, you have practice, like conditioning, weightlifting you're traveling and you have to get your assignments in because like you are like a student first before anything else. I'm here to get an education and soccer is just something that I'm able to do and love doing too, but I'm, I'm not going to stick with soccer my whole life. And just knowing that is like sad, but it's, it's just the truth. So just being able to like put aside like the want and desire to hang out with friends and, you know, scroll through TikTok for hours, like, it's honestly like you need to do your, your homework, your, yeah. your studying. Yeah, I know. I'm definitely a victim of getting sucked into TikTok oh, yeah. <laughs> for hours, especially like with the pandemic, like that kind of yeah. like, that kind of like took away like some of our productivity and like, yeah, you just kind of sit there online for a while. Yes. But that is really important to like, like make sure that you have your priorities straight and like realize that like you need to be there to like do your homework, your student first. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like that kind of like, like people pair like student and athlete together but like yeah you get, like you're there to be a student first yeah. um so how did COVID impact your season um well our season was originally supposed to be in the fall but um our conference made the collective decision to move it to the spring uh in the hopes that things would would calm down and honestly they have um we take a lot of protocols we get COVID tested every week um different forms of COVID testing um, always wearing masks. We are, we have to socially distance when we're not on the field. We had our first games this past weekend and, uh, it was so odd because chairs were spaced out just six feet apart instead of all being able to huddle up, you know, um, you have to really be careful because this is like a pandemic. You have to take it seriously in everything that you do. Um, but we are still able to play, which is honestly just like all you could ask for. Like we, yeah. we were off for 15 months. So just the fact that they're letting us travel and play other teams is, um, is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I know some colleges like are opting out of seasons yes. or like conferences aren't even having seasons at all and like, not even mm -hmm. like conference play. So like getting the opportunity to play right now is incredible, especially yeah. if they work like with COVID. It takes a lot of effort from the school, but it's it good does. to prioritize that. Yeah. Um, What's the, like, since you just started your season, what's the goal that you have for yourself as an athlete this season? Yeah, honestly, personally, like, one of my goals is to just be thankful um, on and off the field. I'm just, like, I'm just blessed to be here. Like, I need to remember that in everything that I do. Um, even if we don't win every game, I honestly feel like I am winning just being here. And so my overall goal is to just recognize that I'm so blessed and in, in everything like yeah yeah I know like I feel like we're all kind of realizing that right now with the pandemic yeah. like, 
everything like we were living normally for a while and now a lot like now that a lot of that was gone like we kind of realized like oh like you're taking this step like second step back and realize what you had before and like how yeah. grateful you were for it mm-hmm. and um I've, th- I've personally grown a lot in that area as well so that's Same. definitely <laughs> a really important goal to keep in mind especially right now with things opening back up you want to mm-hmm. like share us all the things that you're going to be able to do yeah. um and what's some advice that you have for students that want to play a sport in college that are maybe like struggling to, um, like who may not have the opportunity to play because of the pandemic and might be yeah. with the whole recruiting process. Um, what advice do you have for those students? Honestly, like my first piece of advice would just be to not give up. Like COVID hopefully will not be around forever. Um, it'll die down and like things will start to open back up. Hopefully these student athletes who have lost their seasons will, will get them back. I feel bad. I have a lot of friends who are seniors who lost their senior seasons for their high school teams. You just have to keep your head up. Just don't give up. Cause like I've made that mistake before. Like, and if it's something that you really love and you see yourself doing for longer, like absolutely don't give up. Um, continue to study hard because overall you're a student before you're an athlete and education should be a priority in everyone's lives. Um, so just honestly keep doing what you're doing. And as long as you do that, whatever's meant to be will come. Yeah. And I know that like motivation right now and like yeah. back in March, like all that was pretty difficult to keep up with. Um, mm-hmm. But if this is something that like you really want to do, like you do have to keep keep with it, like make those connections with coaches, yeah. uh, continue to like keep communication high with like any of the schools you're talking to, all that, like all that is incredibly Mm-hmm. but yeah that's really great advice to just like keep at it even when the pandemic is kind of making things a little yes. bit difficult um Definitely. yeah was there anything else that you wanted to say those were all my questions um not really I'm just thank you for having me it was nice um speaking with you yeah of course thank you so much for coming on and taking the time out of your day to talk with me I really appreciate mm-hmm. it of course yeah, have, have a great rest of your day have a great season stay safe thank you mm-hmm. yeah bye bye thank you